This was council's first appointment of the new year. City Council is scheduled to fill the soon-to-be-vacated seat of President Pro Tem Michael Stinziano next month. Ohio's 70th governor says he's filled with optimism and is ready to hit the ground running. The inauguration ceremony at the State House today was a celebration of family with an eye toward the future. Mike DeWine said Ohioans are united, united to end the opioid epidemic and united in wanting more and better opportunities for children. Hours after taking his oath publicly, celebrations continued throughout the day and ended just a short time ago at the inaugural gala. NBC 4's Tyler Beckham is joining us tonight from the State House with more on the governor's plans for Ohio. Tyler? Kind of a relative term, right? Look behind me. There are some stragglers here, but things pretty much wrapped up a couple of hours ago. It's been a long day for Governor Mike DeWine. At the age of 72, he officially took office about 23 hours ago at midnight at his home in Cedarville. Fast forward to 9 o'clock tonight when he and his wife Fran enjoyed their first dance together as governor and first lady to Sam Cooke's 1957 hit, You Send Me. Look closely, surrounded by a sea of supporters, you can just make out Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and wife Fran sharing their first dance together. Not 10 minutes later, showing more emotion than usual, DeWine shared his thoughts on everything that preceded that dance. Well, this is a, uh, uh, a day that, uh, you know, you, you talk about running for governor, you talk, see other people who are governor, <clears throat> but when you actually become governor, yeah, it's different. Reiterating his half-dozen executive orders, signed immediately after being sworn in at his Cedarville home at midnight. Do solemnly swear. DeWine spoke of his expansion of anti-discrimination in state government to include protections for gender identity. The government has to lead. We should not have discrimination. The creation of Recovery Ohio to address the drug epidemic. The most important thing we can do is focus on prevention and education. And what the week ahead holds, including a scheduled meeting in Detroit with General Motors, where discussion will focus on the GM plant in Lordstown and the hundreds of factory workers being transferred to Flint, Michigan. I think the first uh, uh, most optimal objective, of course, would be for General Motors to go in there with a different line of cars. Um, if that cannot happen, uh, you know, we want to be in a position where somebody else can go in there and General Motors. From the unemployed to children, DeWine says they're a driving force behind his more than four decades as an elected official and his first official day of work. I believe that government exists to protect the most vulnerable. Uh, that's one of the quotes I use today uh, in, in my speech. Uh, government exists to help those who cannot help themselves. Also during that Q&A with the press after events tonight, DeWine emphasized his priority in working with Kentucky Governor Matt Bevan in rebuilding that aging Brent Spence Bridge in southwest Ohio that connects Cincinnati to Covington, Kentucky. Local for you at the State House in downtown Columbus, Tyler Beckham, NBC4.